Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. This is Robert Hensley coming to you live from an undisclosed location somewhere in North America. We like to call it the uh, the bunker. But as we've been doing over the past couple of weeks, we're taking you deep into the bunker and uh, sharing some books, <laughs> sharing some books from our library. Um, as you know, we get a lot of books uh, here at the studio for... Uh, truth be told, for Tony to look at, for Bonnie, for metaphor for myself. Um, and uh, so we've decided to start um, talking about some of the books that come through. And today uh, we are looking at uh, this beautiful book. Uh, it was released April 17th, 2023, published by Rockpool Publishing. It's 256 pages, hardback, retails for $22.95, and it is called The Witch's Apothecary, How to Make Magical Potions for the Wheel of the Year by Lorianne Anderson, who is um, the best-selling co-creator of uh, the Seasons of the Witch Oracle series. So um, let's get into this book, right? So uh, <laughs> Lorianne is a, um, this, her apothic uh, practice is not just a personal practice, it's a business. Um, so this is what she does. Um, and this book really kind of does a fantastic job of breaking down the wheel of the year, explaining how the, um, the relation between uh, certain herbs and scents and oils relate to um, to color, to crystals, to um, how it kind of things connect within the the witch's calendar, um, and uh, it has been. Um, it's greatly inform informative. Um, it's uh, really well written. It doesn't. Uh, you don't have to sit down with a dictionary or a thesaurus to understand what's being said, <laughs> which I, which I appreciate. Um, it's it's very um, it's very down to earth, which I love. Um, the artwork, the illustrations in this book are um, just lovely. I mean, really, really lovely. They're not distracting. Um, the way that the book is bound, uh, it looks uh, and the texture. It's it is just a lovely, lovely book. That's all I can say. Um, and uh, it's loaded with, uh, you know, uh, recipes for everything from uh, incense to bath salts to um, room sprays to um, oils, um, all, all kinds of stuff. And each... Uh, you know, you've got things, you'll find little things like, you know, magic maker tips, which are, are just little tips and ideas to help change things around a little bit or to make something or to personalize a recipe. Um, she includes at the beginning of each uh, chapter kind of a, an, an explanation or a, um, yeah, a definition of what this particular portion of the calendar is known for or what it relates to or what is worshipped or, or celebrated during that time. I don't want to say worshipped, but celebrated during that time. Um, and then she breaks down the themes and the magical workings, the things that are kind of related to that. Um, and then there are correspondences, which of course are the colors of the season, the plants and the essential oils, the animals, the deities, the crystals. Um, so it really does kind of open up this... Um, this dialogue, these these recipes are really easy to follow. Um, they're easy to personalize. And there's enough information in the book that once you start playing with her recipes, it does kind of lend itself to stepping outside of the pages of her book to start kind of creating uh, potions for yourself. So The Witch's Apothecary, uh, highly recommend this book. Um, again, Lorianne Anderson, who is the uh, best-selling co-author of the Seasons of the Witch Oracle series, um, you'll notice that the artwork is very similar. It's yeah, this is this is a great book. Um, and if it's and if you're not buying it for yourself, this is a I think this would be a wonderful gift for anyone who is um, 
you know, either a practicing witch, a beginning witch, a novice, or um, or even just someone who's really interested in uh, kind of tapping into or learning more about oils and bath salts and um, kind of the basic apothic practices. Um, so yeah, I would I would highly recommend this book. So thanks to uh, Rockpool Publishing for providing us with a copy of the book so that we could have a read. And uh, as always, thank you for listening to the Truth Be Told Minuteman Report. Remember, there are four opportunities for new content every week with Truth Be Told. There's, of course, the Minuteman Report on most Mondays at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. There is a uh, metaphor with uh, La Verdad Se Habla, Truth Be Told in Spanish. Uh, and uh, on Tuesdays, Bonnie Burkert with Truth Be Told Transformation on Wednesdays. And, of course, Tony Sweet on Friday with the original Truth Be Told. Again, all of those same time every day, uh, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 Eastern. And if you have questions or want to learn more about Truth Be Told, visit us on the website, www.truthbetoldparanormal.com. And... Um, if you have ideas or questions or books that you'd like to suggest to the Minuteman Report, please reach out. You can reach me at reportminuteman at gmail.com. Again, that's reportminuteman at gmail.com. And um, yeah, as usual, until next week, please stay true. 